My name is Richard Marks. I work um, in the R&D department at PlayStation. Uh, my name is Anton Mikhailov. I'm a researcher on the Motion Control Project. For a long time, people have wanted to have a device like this where you had really precise and responsive 3D input. What we're working on is really the next generation of uh, user interface. The motion controller works by tracking the ball with the camera and then also uses internal sensors. For this kind of precision tracking, you need a camera that's capable of doing high-speed video captures. The PlayStation 3 can actually keep up with this video feed. So now, with the PlayStation 3, we just use a tiny slice of the PlayStation 3 for it, and the game can still have the rest of the PlayStation 3. All this extra processing power, the new cameras, and also the, um, the accelerometer and gyro technology has really caught up nowadays. All these things coming together, they get you this one device. And suddenly we had X, Y, Z, and angle tracking all at once, and we drew an object over the controller, and it exactly mapped to what we were doing. And we were actually really kind of surprised ourselves at how good it actually felt. It felt really responsive and accurate. That's really important to any user interface. It's, it's important that it feels connected to you, and it feels like your intent is properly being translated into the game. Having precise position tracking like we do from the camera really means we know exactly where it is, not just how it's moving. We actually know when you move it here or here or here, so we can draw something very fine and precise. You can do things that you couldn't do if you don't know where the tip of it is. I think the greatest thing about the motion control is that it has so many different possibilities. Really, you have a lot more expressive power. It's a 3D interaction device. Because it does track so perfectly one-to-one, -one, you'll see a lot of games start out with the one-to-one -one capabilities of it. The fact that it, it exactly does what you do will be used first. So you'll see weapons and sports and things like that that really feel great. Personally, I think the, uh, the most exciting application is for creating uh, content for games. This is the most intuitive this has ever been because you can use this controller to physically grab objects, put them into your game world, and just have it run right there. That opens a lot of new possibilities that haven't even been explored at all before. Then the next set of things I think we don't quite understand yet, which is since we have such a precise input device, what will we use that for beyond this kind of one-to-one -one literal mapping? We're not tailoring it to uh, the hardcore, the casual. This is just a strictly better interface for the kind of games that we want to make. For those kind of games, this device is much better than other traditional devices. Thank you.